Hi, welcome to Hop and Learn with Afrin. I hope you are enjoying my videos. So, few members asked me the R16 regulation important questions of digital image processing. So, here are the questions. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel. So, let's get into the video. This is the unit 1 questions of DIP. So, the questions are define sampling and quantization define sampling and quantization derive 8 into 8 transform and write its order of sequence derive 8 into 8 slant transform and write it write its order of sequence this is the second question these all are repeated question you can expect these questions in your examination and third one how an image is analyzed how an image is analyzed using discrete cosine transform using discrete cosine transform next how hoteling transform differ from other transform how hoteling transforming different differ from other transform next define the following terms define the following terms define the following terms with respect to the image what are those distance measure connectivity neighborhood distance measure connectivity neighborhood next derive 4 into 4 hard transform what Derive 4 into 4 hard transform. Next, explain the concept of sampling and quantization in generation of digital image. Explain the concept of sampling and quantization in generation of digital image. It one explain the following terms adjacency. Connectivity, regions, boundaries. Adjacency, connectivity, regions, boundaries. List and explain fundamental steps in digital image processing. List and explain the fundamental steps in digital image processing. Next, discuss the relationship between pixels. Discuss the relationship between pixels so these are the first unit important question so see here i hope you are all clear with this unit one questions i'm showing it once again first second third fourth fifth six seven eight 19. Total 10 questions from unit 1. These all are important questions. Next, from unit 2, you have total 6 questions. Define histogram and histogram equalization. Define histogram and histogram equalization. State different types of processing used for image enhancement. State different types of Processing used for image enhancement. Explain histogram equalization method of image enhancement with an example and compare it with histogram specification. Explain histogram equalization method of image enhancement with an example and compare it with histogram specification. What is threshold and how to choose threshold value? This previously they asked in R18. What is threshold and how to choose threshold value? Next, explain how high pass filter is used to sharpen the image. Explain how high pass filter is used to sharpen the image. Next, what is meant by gradient? What is meant by gradient? 
and Laplacian. What is meant by gradient and Laplacian? Discuss their role in image enhancement. These are the six questions of unit 2. You can have a glance of it. These are the six questions from unit 2. Next, from unit 3. From unit 2, you have seven questions. Okay. Most important questions are here. Draw the degradation model and how degradation occur in an image. Draw the degradation model and explain how degradation occur in an image. Write about image restoration. Write some example. Write about image restoration. Write some examples. Design a Wiener filter for image restoration. Design a Wiener filter for image restoration. And discuss its merits and demerits. And discuss its merits and demerits. What is meant by interactive restoration? What is meant by an interactive restoration? Okay. Discuss in detail the inverse filtering. Discuss in detail the inverse filtering. Next. Compare inverse filtering and least mean square filtering. Compare inverse filtering and least mean square filtering. Next. Discuss about constrained least mean square restoration. Discuss about constrained least mean square restoration in detail. So, seven questions. Have a glance of it. One, two, three, four, five, six question. And this is the seventh question. From unit three. Now, this is from unit four. Explain a region growing method to segment. Explain a region growing method to segment an image. And what are back draw, drawbacks of this method okay what is meant by hit or miss transformation what is meant by hit or miss transformation how it is used for segmentation of an image how it is used for segmentation of an image next third one Explain how edge segmentation algorithms. Explain how edge segment algorithms are evaluated. Explain how edge segmentation algorithms are evaluated. Explain any one of linking procedures. Explain. Any one of linking procedures. Write edge linking and boundary linking detection. Write edge linking and boundary linking detection. Explain following morphological operations. Boundary extraction, hole filling. Boundary extraction and hole filling. Okay, explain briefly the segmentation based on thresholding. Explain briefly the segmentation based on thresholding. What is segmentation? Explain the concept of region based on segmentation techniques. Explain the morphological erosions. Okay. Explain the morphological erosion and dilation combination process with example. Difference between thresholding based and region based segmentation. Difference between thresholding based and region based segmentation. Here in unit 4 you have totally 10 questions. So see here all of these 10 questions. I will show you.
दीज आर दी टेन क्वेश्चन नाउ फ्रॉम यूनिट फाइव एक्सप्लेन कंप्रेशन मॉडल एंड एक्सप्लेन द फंक्शन ऑफ ईच ब्लॉक एक्सप्लेन कंप्रेशन मॉडल एंड एक्सप्लेन द फंक्शन ऑफ ईच ब्लॉक्स डिटरमाइन हफमैन कोड फॉर द फॉलोइंग इमेज डिटरमाइन हफमैन कोड फॉर द फॉलोइंग इमेज सेगमेंट फॉर फॉलोइंग इमेज सेगमेंट and find compression ratio with reference binary code this is the binary code okay data we need to determine half man code so you have to prepare problems related to half man code what is the need of compression what is the need of compression explain about lossy and lossless predictive coding explain about lossy and lossless predictive coding problems of huffman so these are the questions of unit 5 so i say prepare unit 1 2 3 unit 1 2 3 five this is a better option to prepare so these are the questions i have gave you so if you like my video please subscribe my channel share it like it and comment below thank you